年度机器人大赛在达拉斯举行，此次有不少台湾代表队前来参赛。北德州歌林群台商会也前往为台湾小将们提供送餐服务，到现场加油打气。高中组比的是智利，台湾队表现杰出。其中来自台中的代表队目前脱颖而出，传出捷报，成功进入总决赛，准备争夺世界冠军。让我们一起来看看他们现场的比赛，为他们加油打气。Vaccination. Let's meet these teams. You've met, seen them play all throughout this elimination tournament. Once again, in red is the Technology Division champions from Cupertino, California. Team 11101B Barkbots. And with them, from Harrisburg, South Dakota, and Tiger Robotics, Team 7686B Captain. And just tying up in that last match, the Spirit Division champions in blue, starting out with Team 69996W from Taichung City, WE. And rounding out this match from McLean, Virginia, it's Team 12H, the Potomac School's Happy Haystacks. The series is tied. This match will determine our new world champions. So, audience, once again, let me ask you: Is it going to be the Red Alliance? And now, let's hear it for the Blue Alliance. We've got a fantastic set of four. They're ready to crown a world champion. Let's find out how this plays out. Audience, once again, count it down with me. In three, two, one, go! In the autonomous period, two discs immediately going up for red. 7686 firing a little too high in the next set. It looks like they may have crossed the line. Referees could put their arm out at the end of this autonomous. Blue Alliance gets the autonomous bonus. Drivers ready. Three, two, one, go! All right, here we go. Now in action is driver control. The Blue Alliance took advantage of that early bonus, but the Red Alliance did score more in that autonomous period. Now catching up is Team 12H, the Happy Haystack, scoring up high for the Blue Alliance. Underneath the Red Alliance goal, it's the Cupertino team, Barkbot, setting up a set of three. Beautiful show shooting by the Barkbot, loading up those three discs. One, two, making it in up high for red. On the Blue Alliance, 7686B is stuck on the curb. They get a helping hand from their alliance partner. But right behind them, we've got the Taitung City team. They seem to be stuck. Their drivetrain isn't moving. Oh, there they go. They're back in action. But on the red, red alliance side of the field, all four robots now colliding with each other as 7686 goes up to score, misses courtesy of 12H. 45 seconds remaining on the clock, and Potomac School playing strong defense, now picking up from the human player station. 35 seconds left on the clock. Blue Alliance now looking at those rollers. They've got two in their possession, and a huge set of scores go up from red. 6996 trying to keep the Barkbots from scoring any more. They go to the rollers instead. Cupertino trying to mount a comeback now. Blue Alliance narrowly leading by just eight points. Five seconds until the end game now. Blue Alliance and Red going back and forth on the rollers. It's two all as we move into the end game now. Look for those end game mechanisms going left and right. Three seconds left. Two, one, and that is time. time figuring out how this played out but check out those high goals looks like it was even scoring for red and blue grant i'm going to throw this back to you that's why we play the matches it came down to the last seconds of the last finals match so while the referees are counting up that score